What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to talk about a couple things um, in this video. So if you guys are new, make sure to sub it up. Comment down below. More subs, more likes, more comments. Every comment will be answered, and we'll do a giveaway tomorrow. We do it the like goal of 50 likes 50 likes we have a really good mt method today and we're gonna pretty much mostly talk about tomorrow because tomorrow there should be in my opinion a really big market crash so get ready for that and i have my mt stacked at 115 i made another 20k yesterday didn't really play the game too much and now we are rolling guys i am going to give you a couple tips and also if you guys do need mt i should have some mt in stock for tomorrow if you guys do need mt make sure to hit me up on instagram and our twitter links down below and if you're interested in sports cards make sure to hit me up but uh we're gonna get into this video so i've noticed a couple things the market's actually starting to crash right now chris paul and tim duncan is slowly dropping which means the market is definitely dropping right now um so tomorrow we're gonna get new content i think we're gonna get some diamonds i think we're gonna get some current day players um and we're gonna get a legend my guess is we're gonna get either a Giannis, a kevin durant a Kyrie, not a Kyrie. I think tomorrow we're going to get our first Giannis, our first either LeBron, Giannis, or Kevin Durant. And why do I say this? Or Curry as well. Because, and Harden, we could possibly get a Harden as well. But Giannis, Curry, and Harden do not have, and LeBron, do not have cards over Sapphire. So, oh, we just got a nice snipe on Giannis right there. 6,700, 6,600. All right, bet. So, we just got a quick little snipe on the Giannis filter. That's what I've been running for a while. So, make like a 600 MT. But uh, as of right now. If you guys have been paying attention, there's only a couple cards like Giannis, Durant, LeBron. They all have two. Their, their overalls are just not high enough. And 2K is obviously going to execute that because they want to make money on their packs. So we're just going to keep going over these prices. They don't have any higher overalls in the game. So looking over this, LeBron, Giannis, all these cards really aren't usable as of right now. I've played with all of them. I don't think any of them are good. I think we just sniped out of LeBron. 5700 no never mind so lebron sapphire Giannis is sapphire um there's a couple other cards so definitely try that out um right now there's a kevin durant and he's not even auctionable because if you go to the my team base set um where is it the nets he's not even in the my team base set my guy kevin durant is literally in the premium set or no he's in the reward set you get him for free so that makes no sense to me kevin durant's gotta be a card where we could all get and we all could use so i think tomorrow they're gonna drop some heat it's probably gonna be a legend of some sort a diamond legend who's usually a diamond legend they could drop like a vince carter and a kevin durant tomorrow or a Giannis, lebron or curry i say one of those four do get dropped and if any of those drop there will be a market crash there's gonna be a market crash in general um especially in the ruby end because lori marketing already crashed the ruby end so i do believe oh that's a good price i'm buying that it's just got a gus williams he's really good in the early stages of 2k for 3k so even if i sell him for 3400 i make my mt back so he's 3600 and then he is what 4k all right i'm gonna put up for 4k maybe maybe double my not double my mt make around a thousand mt right there um this is pretty much how i've been making my mt a thousand here two thousand there that's the best way to make MT, and also, patience is key. You do not want to put your card up a, like right at value. Maybe you even want to put it up a little over value. Also, Amethyst. I've been rocking Amethyst filter, Ruby filter, all that good stuff, pretty much. How to make MT right now. Honestly, I would sell your whole squad as well. I'm probably going to sell my whole squad. It's nothing crazy, but I think I'm going to sell it and regroup tomorrow. Um, I've been playing a lot of 5-on-5. Five five. My record is 7-1. and one. I'm pretty good at the game. I have been playing next gen as well. I have not been playing current gen. I'm not a fan of current gen 2K as of right now. I think next gen is way more developed. And I think that's why you guys are going to have to buy the new console eventually. Because in my opinion, man, it's just way more developed. It's way more smooth. And I honestly like it a lot more. So looking at this filter, there's an Elvin Hayes over here with 7200. It's not a good price. Can't really shoot. He's really not a good player in this game. So I would stay away. But yeah, pretty much to make MT today and tomorrow. You would sell your whole team, and if you sell your whole team, you're going to get at least 10K, I, I would say, at this stage of the game. If you got the game Tuesday, you should sell your team and at least get 10K together for tomorrow to snipe, 
And if you only get 10k, it's fine because you snipe out rubies, you're going to make that 10k into 20k very quickly. It just takes some knowledge of the market. You just have to continuously know pricing. If you don't know pricing, you're definitely going to have a little bit of a hard time. And uh, pretty much that's the market tip I give you. Ruby filter, all that good stuff. Also, I haven't checked out the diamond shoe filter at all, but we're going to check it out now. And as you guys can see, the diamond filter is still really, really tough. The diamond shoe filter is still hard. There's still like no diamond shoes out there. You just got to know what's relevant and what's not. But if you find a shoe that's crazy cheap, like if there is a shoe that you find that's super, super cheap, that is just what you got to do. You got to find that shoe. You got to buy it and you maybe got to sell it later on. As of right now, since the game just came out, shoes aren't going to sell nearly as quick as they usually would. So you might have a little bit of trouble selling shoes if you do buy them. You just got to know that you want to buy them for a cheap amount. If you're going to spend money on the shoes, try to not spend more than 6K as of right now because the shoe market isn't really there yet. It's just not there. It's still really early in the game to get the shoes going in my opinion. But uh, Amethyst, Ruby, Sapphire, I've been, honestly, I've been honestly checking out this filter a lot as well. It's not really a filter. It's more player. But actually, you could do this. Shooting Guard, Amethyst, man. Um, looking for Ray Allen. So looking for Ray Allen and Bradley Beal. Their prices are really interesting because a lot of times they can be up for 25k. You could flip them for 33. So I actually have been looking at Ray Allen and Beal. People do put them up for a lot cheaper because a lot of people don't have a lot of MT this month. So since there's not a lot of MT flow in the market, people are really, really, really gonna want to get them for cheap. So Ray Allen went up in price a lot. That man was 28k. He's now at 37k gem mint nine graded which is pretty cool. And this Bradley Beal did drop. I think his price will drop even more tomorrow because he's in the prime time set. Um, usually the Friday set is a good investment because the Friday set usually does go up and is usually rare towards the end of the game. Um, so look at this Bradley Beal at 20K. I believe that's a good price. I think you get it for cheaper, but as you can see, his market is actually up there. It's actually moving. It's really, it's moving well. And honestly, another way I've been making a lot of MT has been sniping bit sniping has been absolutely key for me like if you're not bit sniping you're doing something wrong it's really good bit sniping is absolutely key all right so definitely try bit sniping sometimes you will get bit it will get frustrating but i think the rubies and the sapphires work a lot better um definitely the rubies i got most of my bit snipes off rubies and then some sapphires like Giannis. Giannis, look at that edwards for 700 that edwards can sell for 1200 you can make a decent amount of mt this is pretty much how you should make your MT, and hopefully you guys could eat off the market crash tomorrow. We're probably going to do a pack opening tomorrow as well. But yo, that's all we got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. I hope we could eat. I hope we could all eat, and I'm going to just show you my team before the game, before we do end this video. This is the squad I'm rocking it with on 5-on-5, five five, and I am currently, I'm 7-1. So pretty good start to my year on 5-on-5. Five five. That's all we got for the vid, boys. Peace.